even if there's no water then also this is this whole setup the whole structure it does not disintegrate it does not fall down it does not collapse gas absorption became a key idea which is going to be experimented in this there's a football pitch inside your sugar cube that's the amazing thing about this material your metal lick organic metal organic frameworks the world is struggling with this carbon emission there are problems of increasing temperatures in the world because of this but you have this material which will absorb it because of its immense surface area it's going to absorb a large amount of it Hello everyone we are here to discuss the recently announced Nobel prize for chemistry for the year 2025 and we are going to see this very interesting new discovery which has happened or invention you can say let's talk about the nobel prize for chemistry so it's named after alfred nobel i'm sure you all know that so he says this is to the person who made the most important chemical discovery or improvement in this field so let's see what this year's nobel prize is about so this is about a new kind of a molecular structure which has been created so the chemistry laureates have created molecular structure called metal organic frameworks so this is the term which is what we are going to talk about metal organic frameworks or there's a standard abbreviations mof which is going to be used throughout this discussion today molecules are able to move in and out of these structures it's like this image shows so they have these cubes or these boxes so basically the structure which is created is created out of a combination of metal and organic substances and there's space in between so material can pass through this material can stay inside it and that is what brings in a lot of applications the basic structure um is this like again if we have to exemplify so you have metal different kinds of metals can be there there is a lot of uh, research and creation happening it could be copper it could be zinc and along with that there is an organic part some organic substance means some living component is there uh, carbon is there that's one main element in organic compounds so this is how that whole placement is there that whole framework is there okay so you can see this cube these ends okay these blue colored this is metal and these are called as bricks and in between these pillars which you have the pillars are made up of organic substance and chemically they've been able to integrate this and create a structure which will work in this setup and this kind of a material is seen to have some very exceptional properties which we'll talk about now the nobel laureates for this year so you have three people who've been given this award so you have susumu kitagawa so he was born in japan then you have richard robson he was uh, born in united kingdom and you have omar yagi who was born in jordan but most of his work uh, his scientific research is based in us okay so they have done different things to on the same topic which is metal organic framework now there is this idea that metal and organic substance they can be linked together and different kinds of shapes and structures can be created out of it so it could be a two dimensional shape it could be a three dimensional shape it could be many complex structures and designs this idea was thought about based on some existing structures which we already had in nature though they did not contain metal one of the first series of uh, research or experimentation which started in this uh, field or in on this topic was from the idea of the complex structure of carbon the multi layered hexagonal layers of carbon uh, which is diamond okay so you have this diamond structure which was studied so we already had the shape in mind okay that this is the shape which is there 
and now the idea was can instead of carbon right the organic nature of it can instead of that uh, you know can we have some other things also incorporated into it so can metal also be incorporated into it so based on this same shape, same kind of like pyramidal shape another framework was designed which would have like conceptually it was first decided that it would have metal like some of these carbons they would be replaced by metal so it will be metal included into this kind of a structure now this was very difficult to create the rationale of the design was there that okay you have carbon structures you have this diamond structure which is there so we want to create something similar but in reality to produce it that was very challenging so that's why it took many years for this rationale for this concept to finally be created now once this was created the next thing is that this new entity which was finalized like you can see here this kind of a shape it was showing a lot of pores it was porous there was a lot of like these gaps there is a lot of cavity which was there a lot of space which was created in this structures now this space is what is key to metal organic frameworks the space in between the porous nature that is an opportunity uh, for things for facts that it can absorb a number of things okay and we'll see how that develops now once they were able to get these kind of design structures there earlier uh, in the beginning when they created this they found that these structures are very unstable but with further understanding further uh, experimentation with combinations different metals different organic substances they were able to finally create something which was stable they were able to create a stable framework they were able to identify that okay this could be stable and with a metal combination with specific uh, organic components like carboxylates were used in many different uh, processes to create these structures once these structures were there once you had the stable frameworks then they started trying what this material would do like this kind of a structure initially when they created it for its stability or for its whole assembly they would put water in it okay so it would have to be stabilized with something being present because these cavities were really huge so water was supposed to be there inside and it was then observed that even if you remove water even if there's no water then also this is this whole setup the whole structure it does not disintegrate it does not fall down it does not collapse and this was really remarkable that it does not collapse that means without water without any support also it can stay and that means you can put different things inside this and one of the things which would be there would be a gas wherever there is porous nature of any substance that's an opportunity for it to entrap gas so this was then considered to be a material a substance which or a framework which is going to absorb gas so gas absorption became a key idea which is going to be experimented in this and with different kinds of combinations different kinds of metal organic frameworks have now been created there is a lot of experimentation done on their size their variation and how stable they are what happens if you heat them all of that and there is one very interesting uh, metal organic framework uh, which is always quoted everywhere so there's this new type of mof which is developed now just look at it this is going to blow your mind this is amazing so there is this sugar cube right it's actually white on white so i hope you are able to make out that this is a sugar sugar cube okay so there is this sugar cube a size of your normal sugar cube and they say that the metal organic framework would be such that there would be so much 
surface area inside it there must would be so much layer in this whole lattice and there would be so much space that if you calculate its cavity if you calculate the surface area of its cavity the surface area is going to be as big as a football pitch so think about it there's a football pitch inside your sugar cube that's the amazing thing about this material your metallic organic metal organic frameworks so it can have this much area that means if it has this much surface area you can put in a lot of stuff in it there is a capacity of a very high amount of gas absorption uh, where a gas can simply be put into this without putting all that additional pressure right normally if you have to store gases what you have to do is you have to put in a lot of pressure on it so that's difficult that's expensive or either you have to cool it to a uh, very low temperature so that you can compress it but here you don't have to do any of that there is enough area there's enough space there's enough surface area to hold a lot of it right and that's the revolution which these metal organic frameworks are going to be bringing in they are further trying to create a lot of different types of metal organic frameworks and what they found is that they stay stable in different structures even even when you make changes to them like they say they've created one which will stay stable even if you heat it to 300 degrees celsius there is a possibility that you know you can elongate it by just extending the organic part and keeping the basic lattice same you can elongate it you can change its length you can reduce its length it's like if you have gas here you also have flexible mo mofs where if the gas is removed it will change its shape right of course when you are making some change to it it will change but it will not collapse we have reached a point where it is that stable the first molecular structures were unstable over time however stable mofs were developed that are able to capture and release gases so both the things they have the potential of capturing gases storing them and uh, whenever they are needed they can also release it so this is the storage form this is the release form it will change its shape it will change its form with both of these things happening but it's not going to collapse the structure is still going to be there and now there are a lot of applications which we are considering here like different kinds of uh, metal organic frameworks are there like the first ones where experimentation started we start like it's in the 1980s they started with using copper now they have a very wide variety of metals which they are going to use and uh, this organized structure of metal organic frameworks different startups are also trying to explore it to create certain useful products and let's talk about a few of those interesting useful applications for the greatest benefit of human kind so this is a slide exactly from the nobel prize uh, website this is how they have explained or whatever they've chosen to highlight so we getting you information directly from there so these are a few things a few opportunities which you have and specific examples of metal organic frameworks which have been used here so you have calf 20 this is for capturing carbon dioxide there is a special structure which has been designed which is going to capture and store carbon dioxide i am sure you all know about the issues of carbon so we have problems of carbon emission we have increasing carbon pollution is all around us we have uh, problems of how to manage this how to absorb this and uh, the possibility of technologies which are available they can be very expensive they might not be uh, available or might not be we might not be able to install them at all locations but this can be a wonderful alternative the world is struggling with this carbon emission there are problems of increasing temperatures in the world because of this but you have this material which will absorb it because of its immense surface area it's going to absorb a large amount of it so that's one application another is again a very interesting thing that this material it can capture water so you have mof303 which will capture water vapor from the desert air at night 
how amazing no so there is always moisture in the air there is always water vapor water vapor is a component of the air what this material will do that water vapor is in gaseous form right so in this porous material that water vapor will be there will be captured and in this you do at the night and in the morning from that you create water portable water in desert areas like maybe you are in a safari or something and you don't have access to water this kind of a material can help solve that problem then you have nu uh, 1501 which can store and release hydrogen at normal pressure this is what i was talking about with hydrogen we talking so much about hydrogen uh, uh, you know as a fuel right hydrogen is used in fuel cells or even directly we are talking about using hydrogen um, as an in uh, alternative source of energy so here the problem with hydrogen one of the problems one of the challenges is how do you store it how do you transport it you can do it in this kind of a material so at normal pressure it can store hydrogen which then can be used for different kinds of purposes different kinds of objectives wherever hydrogen needs to be used okay i'll give you a few more examples also on this in terms of applications there are some very interesting things which are happening around this of course uh, the use case is still at a very early stage but there is a lot of development which is taking place here one more use in is in packaging packaging of perishable goods like fruits and vegetables so what happens with fruits is that fruits release a gas ethylene okay and this ethylene is for ripening right how fruits spoil is they ripen they keep ripening and after that the last stage would be rotting over ripening when it has happened now what happens is sometimes you have to transport fruits over larger distances the uh, farm to market distances more and you don't want your fruits to uh, ripen easily so what can be done is your packaging material can have these metal organic framework and what will it do is when the fruit will release this ethylene gas which is supposed to this is released by the fruits okay so this is supposed to help for in ripening so when this gas will be released it will be trapped by the material itself so as it's going to be trapped by the material uh the uh, effect of ethylene gas will be reduced and ripening will be delayed so spoilage will not happen another use is overall purification in different areas like it can be air if you want to talk about carbon dioxide it can also be about water like water has a lot of things dissolved lot of gases also are dissolved so that water pollution can also be managed by these kind of materials or creating filters out of these materials so there is immense potential to this the scientists who have been given the nobel prize they themselves are working on their own initiatives to go into and creating different commercial products but as of now we visualize this from the point of something very interesting happening there is a framework which we've been able to design which has metals which has organic structures organic framework is there and in that combination there are immense possibilities of creating different kinds of materials all of which will have a lot of space which will be porous which will have cavities which will be very large large enough to store a large amount of gases large enough to contain a lot of things store transport release whatever you want there are going to be many interesting things which will happen on this so i hope you've been able to understand this and with this we conclude our discussion on the nobel prize in chemistry thank you mm -hmm.